My name is Karen Shade Lanier with Cherokee Nation Cultural Tourism, and this is Cherokee Artist Showcase. Today, we have the privilege of sitting down and visiting with Al Heron. Al is a Cherokee National Treasure from 1991. That was when he received his designation. And he is the subject of a new exhibit taking place now at the Celine Courthouse Museum in Rose, Oklahoma. It's called Al Heron, The Bowmaker's Calling. And it's on now through March 26th. Al, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Thank you. So we know uh, about your story, about uh, that you um, enjoyed going to the Cherokee cornstalk shoots. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you became interested in making bows. I lived in a community, uh, Eldon, out east of Telecoy out here, and there was uh, a spring branch that flowed into Barron Fork Creek. And up this spring branch, there was a uh, several Cherokees that lived up in there. It's McLemore Hollow. I became friends with uh, Richard McLemore. I liked to hang around with him. And he had a shop set up behind his house. He lived right on the bank of the creek. I would watch him and he would loan me his tools like draw knives and so forth, and show me how to use them properly and so forth. And, and uh, anyway, my beginning actually started there with uh, Richard McLemore. He made my first bow for me. I was uh, about about eight years old. So anyway, that's basically where it started. And it encouraged you to make your own bow when you, when you were very young. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, he showed me how to work the wood uh, with the draw knife and the importance of following a single grain layer within the wood. That's the key to making a bow that will not break. And then I learned a lot of things from uh, Richard. We primarily hunted for squirrels. I learned the weather situations and what kind of weather the squirrels like to be out in. And so I became a pretty good squirrel hunter. Some of my Cherokee friends around there started calling me Sololi, which means squirrel in Cherokee. Anyway, my squirrel hunting ability improved and so forth, but mainly... Uh, I learned the habits of the squirrels and, and all this kind of thing and, and uh, learned how to make a bow, uh, a good bow. So uh, anyway, uh, that was a, a very important part of my, uh, of my life. Now, when people go to the Celine Courthouse to uh, see your exhibit, they'll learn that you're an author, that you've written about bow making and hunting and uh, other subjects as well. So everybody knows about your skill as a bow maker, but you also make your own arrows from uh, napping the stone points that you use to attach them and uh, getting the sinew that you use to put it on there. Tell us a little bit about how you make your own arrows. The arrows... Richard showed me several different kinds of wood that are satisfactory for making arrows. You want a, the arrow to be straight. So you take a tree like dogwood, for example, and the smaller limbs on the dogwood tree, you take those and you straighten them. The way you, the way you straighten the, the arrow is with heat. So another thing I use for arrows is cane, river cane. Now, r river cane tends to be straight when it's small. As it grows in, in cane breaks around here in the, in the bottoms, it grows tall and may, may get 10 or 12 or even 14 feet long. And... But I go, I get this, the shorter ones. I cut those short pieces, basically about 35 inches long, the arrow. And then I uh, heat those and bend that with my hands. And when, when it, it cools down then, 
it will keep that bend to it. If I hadn't haven't gotten it straight yet, I keep working on it until I I, I do have it straight, and uh, heating it, and and then working it, keep keep working it until I've got it good and straight. So as mentioned before, you were named a Cherokee National Treasure in 1991 for bow making. What does being a national treasure for Cherokee Nation mean to you? Well, uh, it's certainly a great honor to me uh, personally because I've uh, I have learned these things and other things from older Cherokees, and it was handed down to me as it was handed down to them. And so uh, my particular uh, thing is, is, uh, is bows and arrows, but uh, I learned many other things. Al, we're so glad that you could be with us today, and we hope that everybody will have a chance to see examples of your work, of your uh, bows, of your arrows, and to know a little bit more about your story uh, and as well be able to, you know, come across some of your books. So again, Al Heron, The Bowmaker's Calling, will be on exhibit at the Celine Courthouse Museum in Rose, Oklahoma through March 26th. Al, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for making this possible. <laughs>